All right, so this is a great way to loosen up your lateral quads. And you notice, you a lot of kettlebell jerks, you get to develop a lot of lateral quad. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take any ball, start with a softball. I usually like to start with something that's kind of spongy because A, you can hurt yourself by putting too much pressure on the tissues. That's why I do this against the wall first. I'm gonna take this ball, and I'm gonna work on the outside right here. So I'm gonna put it against the wall. I'm gonna come over here a little bit and see this angle. So kind of put it right on the side. Now I'm not pressing into the wall very hard. I'm relax relaxing the tension of the tissue. My foot's off the ground slightly. Then I place it down and I kind of bring my, I wedge my, wedge my body into the ball. So once I'm there, then I'm slowly going to, slowly going to rotate. And when I feel the pressure, then I'm gonna let it hang, kind of let it relax. Feel that uh, tissue, the tension dissipate a little bit, and then I can move a little bit farther. Um, I'm still trying to sweep the leg in towards the adduct, which presses me, my hip, into the wall. This loosens up the lateral quad very, very quick. Um, then I can try to go an inch higher or an inch lower and try to find the spot. Um, you can see as I roll too far, I'm just going to roll right over the lateral quad, um, but I want to stay on that area. That's where most of my tension is coming from. So with that tighter lateral quad, I'm not getting as much for the medial uh, work. So I want to stay, work on stabilizing my knee and making sure that the quadriceps work in the way that it should instead of having one part of it overactive. So anyway, this works pretty well. Go on the other side, uh, just turn around, kind of Find that little wedge, I'm trying to loosen up the... This one's a lot different. Uh, everyone's gonna have different feelings, you know, on right arm, left arm. So what we're trying to do is make them a little bit more even. This is not as bad as this one. And go figure, this is my knee that has some of the issues. So, um, use a supernova, possibly. This one's really interesting. It kind of takes the tissue and just spreads it out as you roll. Um, but first start off with a, a light ball. You could even use like a, a racket ball. Something soft first because you never want to start with too hard because it could actually damage the tissue. <laughs> All my videos, I was like, then you. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy how fast that works. You want to try it? Use a, I mean, you can try this one. I'm going to try to get my, this spot on my back real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just right where it rounds down. You can see, like, the outside, right about here yeah, is where you're... Don't quite look like that. <laughs> I, my legs are, are big. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. This, this one's, like, literally drive one of those earth rollers. It punches and cuts it up, and then you scoop it out. But it's definitely why you shouldn't start with this one. Oh, damn. Okay, cool. Well, it's still going. <laughs> 